there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, if I'm trying to do this in a, rather a rush, it's because there's, uh, uh, I'm listening to uh, Radio 6 Music and uh, there's, it's, it's a Sunday evening and they're doing a, a big session on PJ Harvey, who is excellent. And uh, So go out and listen to her. And, uh, but in the meantime, I've got to do some wine. Uh, and I've got to do it rather quickly, and I've got to do it um, re- quickly uh, for a couple of reasons. Apart from PJ Harvey, uh, I'm looking uh, behind the camera, and there is something under the grill uh, which I put in there just to try and crisp up belly pork. I really struggle sometimes with belly pork, and, and I can never quite get the crackling as crisp as I could. I, I would like to. So if you hear sort of like some pops in the background, um, that's why. Uh, that's why. What it is, but um, hopefully. The wine that is going to go rather nicely with my belly pork is Mosswood, Margaret River, Cabernet Sauvignon 2014. So Mosswood, one of the pioneers uh, of uh, the Margaret River region. I can't remember when they did their first vintage, but it was uh, back in the 70s sometime. Some of them, I can't remember whether Mosswood started in the 60s or anyway. Uh, but um, uh, this is the 2014 Cabernet and um, I'm hoping that this is going to be rather nice with the belly pork, if the belly pork can be quiet for the course of this video. Anyway, I'd better give it a sniff and uh, tell you what I think of it. Ooh, that smells like I want to dive into it. Um, it smells, um, oh, there's just this, this lovely um, combination of richness and refinement. Shut up, belly pork. Combination of richness and refinement. Um, and uh, I get almost like this graphite, uh, blackberries, black currants, cedar, um, and it feels like the, a, a wine that is going to have, um, yeah, the, 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 a lot of the wines I like, they have this mixture of rich flavour but restrained as well. Just, just something to hold all the richness is. Be quiet, belly pork, you're doing it a bit too loudly now. Um, and it just smells terrific. It smells um, uh, desperately young but um, enticing. Bit of plum there, then this lovely graphite cassis. Um, gentle earthiness, a touch of vanilla, nicely handled oak. Um, there's an, uh, yeah, this general earthiness as well. And um, it's got that, I'm not sure, I don't, I don't know if it's 100% Cabernet Sauvignon sometimes. Uh, uh, I can't remember with a mosswood actually. Oh, golly, we've got the tumble dryer uh, kicking into action now, as well as the symphony from, uh, from, from the grill. Um, but it feels like um, a, a wine that is just really coiled up like this and uh, ready to pounce, ready to spring. Um, there was sort of this juicy core of flavour uh, but restrained by, by, by this nice fresh acidity and um, polished um, but uh, ever so slightly grainy tannins that leave you with a really nice feel in your mouth. And um, uh, yes, I, I, I think we're probably eating about half an hour or so, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to pour this out and um, give it a chance to, to blossom because it feels good as it is now. It feels like its best is very much still to come, uh, which will come from giving a, a bit of chance for air to, to get to it. I suppose the ideal way would be to keep a bottle like this uh, for, well, it feels like it's built for a really long haul. Uh, Margaret River Cabernets have this mixture of um, plushness uh, but structure as well. I mean, it's 14% alcohol. It's, um, it's not a shy form. But it's a very elegant and tasty fawn, and uh, I think it's going to go rather nicely with the belly pork. And uh, so I'm going to go and um, enjoy a little bit in my glass, pour the rest out, and then uh, enjoy it even more in about half an hour. But uh, it's it's a terrific wine. I'm, uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it. One of those wines I almost want to hog at my end of the table, and uh, one of those wines I wish my wife was driving for. But we're we're at home, so she's not driving tonight. Uh, but uh, I think I'm going to enjoy it. So well done, Mosswood. See you soon.